Hi, good afternoon. This is uh, a chat through the FX Algo Trader um, Statar Statistical Arbitrage Package. Um, basically, um, I want to just talk people through uh, an overview of how the system works and um, just provide some illustrations of the sort of trades it makes. Um, without further ado, let's just press on and, uh, and examine some of these charts we've got on, on the screen here. Um, the system is basically made of two custom indicators and an arbitrage engine which we can see here so essentially we have a chart which is in this case the euro dollar chart based upon a day on a daily basis um, we up in the right hand corner of this screen we have a um, an expert advisor which is a custom one called genstar version 2 uh, stands for generic uh, st uh, statistical arbitrage version 2 um, this is where we basically configure the arbitrage engine to tell it which pairs we're interested in examining so in this case you can see uh, it's based upon the euro dollar and cable or, or sterling dollar pairs because they're highly correlated uh, generally speaking um, if we go down to the bottom pane on the screen we can see uh, this is FX Algo Trader StatArb mean stroke STD indicator. What this indicator does is effectively um, calculates the spread between the two pairs, i.e. the difference, um, and then plots it um, and calculates the 20-day moving average of that spread and also the plus and plus one, plus two, minus one, minus two standard deviations from the mean. Um, so you can see basically over time the spread um, diverges and then converges back to the mean, diverges, converges, diverges, converges. It's just a sort of a fairly um, repetitive pattern. Um, the next indicator in the middle, um, FX Algo Trader stat our price trace. This is simply a, a shifted um, price trace of the two currencies, two currency pairs um, basically serves as just an illustration really, it doesn't actually contribute to any of the calculations within the process um, if you um, if you look, have a look at um, what the actual system does, I mean, you know, I've, I've, I've been running this on um, several different pairs so um, you can see this chart here is Euro dollar and Aussie dollar. You can see the physical trades which the system has, has made. These are automated, so you don't have to worry about them. Some of them are actually manual, which I did as well over the top, but um, essentially the, the system takes care of all this itself. Um, again, same same sort of concept for Aussie dollar, Kiwi dollar. We're doing it for oil, CAC, futures. Or CAC and CAC futures. Do you think we're getting anything on here at the moment? It's just that one isn't happy. Oh, there we go. That's okay. And sterling or cable, Aussie dollar, US dollar, and cable and Kiwi dollar, um, US dollar. So uh, you can see just down here. This is basically what the system is doing. This is just a thousand dollar account which I opened up a few days ago. Um, the two trades which have got comments on them, or well, the basically the two pairs of trades, uh, are system generated. And uh, <clears throat> the trade down here, this this buy euro dollar sell cable, um, without any comments. That's just a trade I, I manually put in over the top. Um, there's no reason why you can't. Um, increase your, your position sizing on these um, mean reversion plays. Um, essentially the, the game plan is if we look at Euro Sterling on this chart over here you can see this, these trades were executed just here where the cursor is so where it hit the minus two standard deviation threshold at the moment is still diverging from the mean so we're just going to sit on these and wait and see what happens. Um, you're not always going to get lucky, but uh, generally, it's uh, 
it will typically revert to the mean at some point you just have to be patient but the fact is that as you're going long on one pair and short on the other um, you've effectively got an inbuilt hedge so your exposure is going to be much lower than a, obviously a straight directional play um, the basic concept behind um, the indicators and the signals um, is say down here on the STD indicator you're looking at euro dollar and cable when the blue line i.e. the spread is effectively hitting the minus two standard deviation threshold this is when you want to be buying euro dollars and st selling sterling and conversely when the blue line comes up to the plus two standard deviation line you want to be selling euro dollars and buying sterling because of the way that the actual um, indicator has been calculated i.e. Um, the euro dollar is the first pair and cable is the second pair you can see here pair one euro dollar pair two cable and I've changed you can change the STD multiples um, so basically broaden or widen the actual trigger thresholds for when the trades are entered and also the calculation period um, I the number of periods that the system uses um, a thousand is typically okay but if you don't have enough history in your uh, charts you'll get a, a, a zero divide error um, which is something to watch out for uh, I'm going to be um, releasing the trade signals from the system um, in, a, in the form of a newsletter so please have a look at the website to um, to, to, to see further details on that anyone got any questions please send me an email info at fxalgotrader.com Thanks very much.